Ah, uh, you want to buy something? You need to talk to Cassandra. She said you could use some help. Assuming you're a manual. Assume at your own risk, Lincoln Clay. So running the weed, y'all got a routine laid out? We take a boat to the bayou, grab the bears, bring them back. Bayou can be a rough territory. Dixie Mafia knows every inch. <laughs> Does those white boys scare you, Fred? Did they touch your zozo when you were a child? Cassandra failed to mention your charming personality. Uh, I highly doubt she forgot. You do this kind of thing back in Haiti? Back in my country, I was a hoogan. A priest. What does a priest know about trafficking weed? I did not run marijuana, Frey. My cargo was refugees, people. I saved their lives, got them away from Duvalier. But you probably don't know much about that. We gonna have a problem, you and me? Cassandra says we are partners, that everything is cool between us. Are we cool? Don't think I call it that. Neither would I. Cassandra might be able to let go of what you did to our people, but I cannot. Maybe you'd be happier back in Haiti. It was not my choice to come here, leave my home. But I'm trying to make the best of it. Aren't we all? There are still Dixie Mafia scattered around the hollow. If you have the time, you should see to them. Convince them to leave. I could not see a win in it anywhere. place of right thanks to you What do we got here? Thank <laughs> you. 
there, Frey. How is life running with her? I got it covered. Good. Because I'm getting word those Dixie Bousons are starting to interfere with our dwarps. They can try all they like. Still won't change the outcome. You getting in touch with your artistic side? My wife used to draw on anything she could get her hands on. Half the time, she didn't even realize what she was doing. And yet, every stroke was... perfection. She's still back in Haiti? Yes. It is where she is buried. Yes, we've all had our share of losses. Our losses, Frey, are nowhere near the same. I'm just trying to turn the page, set things right with you. And you think comparing the deaths of our loved ones will do that? Papa Doc had my wife tortured trying to locate me. He had the tonton I could bludgeon my children to death in order to save bullets. When I last saw my wife, her eyes had ruptured from the electroshock. My little boy, his face was caved in. And my little girl, she had been hit so hard she was decapitated. They were faultless. So you and me, Foy, we are nothing in common. Makano is an evil man. In that there is no question. But just because an evil man kills, it does not mean his victims are innocent. Innocence ain't a thing that exists around folks like us. At least not for long. Hell, I'm not even sure I know what it looks like anymore. I used to. Moss. But the bloody eye get the quicker that picture fades. But that's not important right now. Important thing is getting our weed back from the Dixie Mafia. A large shipment of marijuana is at this dock. Get it and bring it back. Not worth as much money, but we can sell everything you bring back. said you'd be expecting me. Took you long enough. I'm Jock Blanchard. Vito claims you can unfug this mess and get us working men back on a job. Maybe. Depends if your information's any good. Used to kick up to Vito's men Andy Toretto for union work. But now that Coyon Greco got Andy squeezing everybody for more dues. You don't pay, you don't get a work permit. Poor fucks even gotta use Greco's loudmouth buddies to collect. This Greco sounds like a real piece of shit. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. On top of that, Andy's got to keep the permits under lock and key. Anything happens to those, oof. Ain't no work happening around here. I'll see what I can get out of Toretto's people. Toretto runs a tight ship, but you should be able to get some of his guys talking.
shouldn't have come here. Look who I found. Mass that fucker to pieces. With pleasure. Hey, bro, you hear that? What the hell is happening?
I know I heard something. Well, we sweat in the back office. He's not going to budge until somebody kills up when he's strong. Truth right there. Let's keep it friendly, buddy. Something for me today. Show on the road. Some of us what the fuck you doing back here? Something for me today. I didn't hear a damn thing. I was quitting the union. Told them I'd find my own damn job. What'd they say? You want a permit? You need to wait. But if I was serious about it, he was gonna see you know, bust the hell. This is what happens if oh, you live off. Get out of here. Piece of shit. Someone out here to River Row for this cash. Be there soon. Got something I can hang on to for you? Straight to the bank. and work at the dock union. I'm surprised Tavero's not out in the street and hunting you himself. Oh, 
Quoi See anything? No. Shit. Trouble's coming. Hey, you hear that? Firing on. You want to see y'all in this? Shouldn't have come here. Kill me, or that piss and Greco does. Well, since Greco ain't here. The dock union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. Today, I'm sure the file on Vito Scaletta is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here, and the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. 